Project Management Insights, providing project managers with professional development in the interpersonal skills areas of leadership, team building and communication. Have you become a patron of the Project Management Insights podcast yet? As a patron, you have early access to the podcast each week, as well as an additional bonus monthly episode. You'll also receive uh, longer extended podcasts if you sign up for the second level. And as well as that, there'll be templates and other online materials to download. And you can also sign up and become part of our Ask the Expert patron-only live stream, which is going to occur once a month. So come join our community at patreon.com slash project management insights. I look forward to seeing you there. Today, I want to bust one of those myths about the fact that you think you need to be in control of everything just because you're the project manager. So project management for me is about managing, not controlling or doing. What I did was I went to the dictionary and looked up some definitions. These always help me to really understand exactly what it is that I'm focusing on or looking at. So when I went and looked up the definition of managing, what it says is exec- exec- having executive or supervisory control or authority. So it's a pretty interesting thing. It says having supervisory control or authority. And then when I looked up the word controlling, it says to determine the behavior or supervise the running of. So for me, there's a real fine line here between managing and controlling. It's managing as explains is about having supervisory control, whereas controlling is supervising the running of. So you're the one that's actually there telling people what to do and how to do it, whereas managing is the oversight. It, that It's the next level up. And what I've noticed is that if I get into my controlling space where I want to control and manage everything, it creates dissension, discord, and distrust in my team. In The more that I control, the less I receive from the team willingly. You notice what happens. The more that you get involved and want to be responsible and control everything that the team member or or stream or group are doing, they start to get their back up and they won't tell you things. They don't involve you in what's going on. They might decide they're going to work around you rather than gain your support if there's problems. And so it only creates bigger issues for the overall delivery of your project than if you get into the space of being as being in, in the space of managing, which is where you are overseeing what's going on. I like using the word overseeing with managing because for me, That's my role. My role is in overseeing to ensure that things are working or progressing the way that I'm expecting them to or the way that my senior executive, as in my project sponsor or project control board, are expecting them to. The other thing I notice is that when I'm in this controlling space and I've I've done it, so I know what it's like, It's the equivalent of me treating each of the team members as children. It's treating them as if they're unable to do their jobs without me intervening or interfering or being totally on top of exactly what they're doing. And this can't feel nice. I know it doesn't feel nice when someone's done it to me. I've, you know, had myself then in that, put myself then in that space of being controlled and feeling like I'm a child and I know what I do then I rebel and it's not good. It's not good for you. It's not good for the team. It's not good for delivery. Real leadership is about setting the strategy and the goals and then letting the team work out how they will achieve those goals and deliver on the strategy. And if you do this and set up this sense of 
treating the team as if they are humans, as if they are people with thoughts, feelings, beliefs, ideas, and their own stories about how things should be done and acknowledge that and work with them in a way that's collaborative and focused on the delivery of the outcome, not on what the person is doing, then they're going to help you achieve your outcome of managing, uh, delivering the project. And they'll also come to you when they need to support. And isn't this what you want? You really do want them to feel that you're there to support them and help them. And if you feel that they're there to help and support you, then that's the best outcome that you can get for the project overall. So have a think about what it is that has you believe that you need to control everything. It's not really your job as the project manager and it's not your job if you're in a place of leadership. So take on the leadership role, <clears throat> take on the leadership role and manage, don't control. You'll get a better outcome from your team if this is the way you work. So don't break, break the myth. Don't be the person that believes that you need to be in control of any, everything. It's not worth it for either you or the team. It'll create more stress for you and more stress for the team and you're less likely to have the better outcome that you want, which is delivery on scope, under budget or on budget and on the time frame that's required. Drop the myth. You'll be glad you did. Till next week. Thank you for listening to this Project Management Insights podcast. Be sure to visit projectmanagementinsight.com and sign up for our monthly newsletter or to receive updates on upcoming training. You may also find mentoring offers there.